What's good, y'all? We're back at it again with Mass Effect 1, and I want it to be known that Sleepy Joe Let's Go Brandon Biden is a filthy liar. Cry about it, Donald. I'm on my villain arc right now, so I'm backing out of our deal. As you can all see, the negotiations have fallen through, and now we're split on who we're going to romance. I've seen a few folks in the comments suggesting we put it to a community vote. Absolutely not. I'm not losing a popular vote for a third time. Anyway, here's Kaidan aggravating his migraine by staring directly into a bright screen. What's the game plan for Donald today, Barry? After much convincing, I've gotten Donald to engage in some of the side missions, so he'll start out on the Citadel today, starting a lot of quests. Then he'll head off to Pharos and start the mission there, and then I'll pick it up next time. Thank God for that. I am not in the mood to play tower defense against the Thorian Creepers. There's something wrong with all this. This Saren is looking for records on some kind of galactic extinction, but we can't get backup from the Council? Sorry, Commander. There's writing on the wall here, but someone isn't reading it. People call Caden boring, but he's actually he spitting facts right well. here. Caden is a sensible and well put together squad mate, and that does make him boring. People like Jack and Grunt because they're both crazy and violent. Making enjoyable fictional characters is like making a well seasoned chicken breast. The mental illness adds spice. Without that, all you have is the plainest, whitest chicken imaginable. In Caden's defense, his background is actually pretty interesting. The thing is, he's worked through all his problems before he joins up with Shepard, unlike every other squad mate. What's your opinion on the last mission? Dr. Tassoni. Seems like a sweet girl. Easy on the eyes. See, Donald, you and Caden have so much in common, you're both a sorry enjoyers. A broken clock is right twice. No, Commander. Just art appreciation. Art appreciation is a pretty PG-13 way of saying you're undressing someone with your eyes. Commander, you have a minute to talk. Oh boy, here we go. This is the conversation with Ashley that has done irreversible damage to Ash's reception among the Mass Effect fan base. All right. I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but uh, I'm, I'm concerned about the aliens, Vicarian and Rex. With all due respect, Commander, should they have full access to the ship? Ashley, God damn it! they don't have full access to the ship. You're standing right across from Garrus. Ashley is valid. It's only been like three decades since the first contact war. You can't trust Turians. What's crazy is that Ashley brought up Rex and Garrus as potential threats, but is ignoring that Tally is literally studying the Normandy's engines. It's no secret that Ash has a soft spot for Tally. I'm sure they both get along over their hatred of the Geth. Yeah, see, the only alien that's hanging around engineering is Tally. Rex states in Mass Effect 3 that he only hung around in the cargo bay and Garrus just calibrates the Mako. How do you get from relying on ourselves to mistreating our allies? I don't mean we should mistreat them, Commander. I just think we should be prepared to go it without them. Ash is right. Mass Effect 3 pretty much confirms that the aliens will always prioritize themselves. <laughs> the Council's had a grudge against us since the first contact war. You mean since we blew those damn Turians up like we did dodo birds? Look, if you're fighting a bear and the only way for you to survive is to sick your dog on it and run, you'll do it. No, the fuck I won't. Yeah, all right. Ashley is way off base here. I'm fighting alongside my pup. Ashley clearly hasn't seen that video of the Australian guy who squared up with a kangaroo to rescue one of his dogs. Bro punched the roo and it was straight flabbergasted. Thing was like, did this motherfucker just stick me for real? Tarek Burma is a pack of jackals. The Founders had ideals. Ashley is hilariously misinformed about Terra Firma. The organization can't be older than 26 years since it was a response to the first contact war. The Founder was forced to resign due to a kickback scandal and the current leader, who we know as Charles Saraceno, is being backed by Cerberus as they assassinated his opponent in 2173. Barack, you were president for eight years and a senator for three years before that. Why in the hell are you so engrossed in the politics of Mass Effect? I told you, I'm in this for the world building. This shit runs deep if you actually pay attention to it. I get enough of this political shit in my day to day without thinking about it while I'm gaming. I'm surprised you get any of it at all the way you be dozing off on camera, Joe. Damn, you know it's free eats when even Barack is clowning on Sleepy Joe. All right, I can see where your concerns are coming from, Williams. But this is a multilateral mission. You're going to have to work with aliens, like it or not. It won't be a problem, Commander. You say jump, I say how high. You tell me to kiss a Torian, I'll ask which cheek. Oh, we giving out kisses on command? Kiss anyone I ordered you to? That depends, sir. If you ordered me to kiss a superior officer, that would be a violation of the regs concerning fraternization. That would make it an illegal order. 
I'd be required to decline and relieve you of command. Well, okay then. The worst she can say is no, my ass. She just threatened to end Shepard's career. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Dating in the workplace is like eating where you shit. Ashley is so right for that one. Top of my class in flight school, I earned that. All those commendations in my file, I earned every single one. Those were Joker earned all his commendations just like how he earned his place on the Normandy by stealing the ship what are you talking and taking it on a joyride. Even Joker mean, didn't think that would work out for him. Unreal respect to Joker. Stole the Normandy, flew circles around the Alliance Marines, and was made the helmsman on the galaxy's finest ship. Properly, they're basically hollow. Too much force, and they'll shatter. Even with crutches and my leg braces, it's hard to get around. Do we ever see Joker with crutches or leg braces? No, but granted, that's because he's glued to his seat 90% of the trilogy. In my hands, and I'll make her dance for you. Just don't ask me to get up and dance unless, you know, you like the sound of snapping shin bones. Okay, we're dropping on the Citadel. What do I need to look out for here, Barack? We got a call from Nasana Dantius, so you're going to want to talk to her. There's Emily Wong, Rita's quest over in Flux, helping out Dr. Michelle, dealing with Chorbin's fight with his partner. There's a whole lot for you to do, Donald. I hope all of this ends with a legendary sex scene or something. No, but it does end with us getting a lot of experience and credits. Oh God, not this guy. F that, I'm walking past him. Okay, or it'll just force me into the conversation. Can't escape your superior officers, Donald. I might have to talk to him, I'm but I'll be damned if I'm gonna salute citizen. him. Is there something you need? Let's get one thing clear, Shepard. You might be a specter to the aliens, but to me, you're just another junior officer. Be respectful. What are you gonna do about it, Milk Hale Love I Bitch? Fire me? I'm a specter. I'm outside your chain of command. That's not even a joke, Admiral or not. He has no right entering the Normandy or even speaking to Shepard like this. If Mass Effect leaned more in the role play aspect, Shepard would be able to distance themselves from the Alliance. I can advance our interests to the Council. You still know what color your blood is, Shepard? I'm about to show you what color your blood is if you don't get out my way. Hey, Donald, if you hate Milkailovich so much, I think you ought to know he dies if you save the Council. You mean I have to choose between the Council and this douche? Tough decision on one hand, f*** the Council. But on the other hand, f*** Boris over here. experiment diverted billions from our appropriations bills. Only billions, huh? I guess military funding didn't keep increasing into the 22nd century. I would have expected us to be well into the hundreds of trillions by then. Normandy is an alliance warship. I'm pretty sure you can tell the Admiral to get bent if you want to, Donald. Nah, that wouldn't be as satisfying. I want to force him to change his mind. Ah, uh, good old gaslighting never gets old. I won't be long. Commander, I'm not happy. Sounds like a fairly common situation. Shepard with an attitude is one of my favorites. I like to think Renegade Shepard is fully aware they can get away with almost anything and loves flexing that fact. Commander everyone else is inefficient. What if he needs to discuss with the operators toward the bow? Just hear no better, you loser. If you can't hear me yelling orders from the back, you better acquire a hearing aid or something. With the best DIs. A fair point. I suppose the design has no chance of becoming standard. No need to worry about a generation of recruits learning things bass backwards. I had to shake my head at that drive core of yours. 120 billion credits of element zero to make this thing able to move without giving itself away. You realize we could make drive cores for 12,000 fighters with that money? What good is it? The Normandy's stealth drive is probably its most important feature. Without it, Shepard would never have been able to make successful drops during the events of Mass Effect 3. I'm glad that we're managing to keep the Renegade options open. Damn, Shepard casually flexing their PhD in history. It's easy to think of Shepard as just some jarhead soldier, but the character is actually fairly intelligent when it counts. Krogan? Asari? Dog, we just heard this from Ashley and we're having it drummed in some more. It doesn't even matter if Garrus is on the ship. The Turians co-built the Normandy with the Alliance. They know all its capabilities. That's right. If I want to invite every Asari from Korra's den onto the Normandy, you better believe I will. You want them on board that bad? Fine. Don't quote regs at me. You have anything else to say, Commander? Any other just What the f***? What's the morality requirement for these options? Uh... I believe it's nine charm or nine intimidate. Yes, We're probably meant to do side quests before the snap inspection. This one is my bad. It's good. We mental boomed this guy into giving us a better report. It will not be as negative as I planned. Good hunting, Commander Shepard. Make us proud. Commander Shepard, sorry to bother you. 
Uh, what the hell is this now? Oh, I'd completely forgotten. This is the quest that has to do with Shepard's origins from Mindwar. Mass Effect 1 has to be the only game where this stuff is relevant at all. It's interesting how it all ties together. Naturally, if Shepard was a colonist, they grew up as a farmer and the raid occurs when they're 16. If you're Spacer, it's actually Shepard's mother and the crew of the SSV Einstein who respond to the attack. And it's there that Hannah Shepard's friend Ernesto Zabaleta gets his PTSD. It's too bad they weren't able to factor this stuff in more in the later games. It's pure copium to hope for this, but imagine a Mass Effect game with the same levels of role-playing as Baldur's Gate 3. You're going to OD Barack. Bioware barely has the resources to make Mass Effect 4, much less make a game of the same scope as Baldur's Gate. Donald, you're literally a billionaire. Why don't you use all that money to fund the next Mass Effect game instead of buying more McDonald's Police every day? And give up my three times a day Big Mac? Never gonna happen. Donald, don't do it. Don't do what? You know damn well what. You're talking to Kalisa. And I know this is a renegade run and all. But we live in the year 2023 at the time of recording. And probably 2024 when this video goes up, punching the reporter is gonna be a bad look. I'm just giving the fake news media a little preview of what's going to happen if they badger me during the 2024 election cycle. Brother, you're not beating the allegations on this one. Not going to lie, I'm actually with Donald on this one. Punch reporters out in Minecraft. Saying in Minecraft doesn't make it okay. We do not condone violence against the media. The media! Donald, you are not Senator Armstrong. Nanomachines are not saving you here. Come on, Barry, you're telling me you never at least thought about punching some news motherfucker out. No, why would I do that? My whimsical charm is enough to disarm any heckler. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? See, the f kind of question is this. The kind of question that gets you punched out by a space marine? I suppose there is a decent payoff in Mass Effect 3 if you assault Kalisa twice in the trilogy. She'll duck you in the final confrontation and then even knock Shepard flat on their back. Should we be spoiling things that'll happen in the third game? I mean, there's zero chance I'm letting Kalisa flatten me. The trilogy is over 10 years old, and while we appreciate your attention, this should not be your first experience with the Mass Effect trilogy. Play the game yourself first. Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? Oh my God, she's really starting to piss me off. Donald, don't do it. You're not playing the Dark Urge right now. You don't have to be evil. Have? I don't have to be anything Barack. I want to be evil. Yes, Donald, let the hate flow through you. Alliance uniform. And if you think anyone other than me says where the Normandy can go, you're sadly mistaken. No offense intended, Commander. No offense I'm intended. Sure she just pushed me over the edge. Superior. Sticks and stones, Donald. If I had a stick or some stones, I'd hit her with them. One last question, Commander. Rumors back home say you're tracking a rogue specter named Saren. Do you have any comment on that? I'm gonna do it. Donald, don't do it. I'm in favor of this renegade behavior. Barry, you're outvoted. You can just end the interview peacefully or throw the council under the bus. Or I can hit her with one of these. I've had enough of your snide insinuations. Ha! Did they use some stock punching sound effect? You I'm very disappointed in you, Donald. Oh, please, Barry, get off your high horse. You know that's better for the content we'll sure anyway. Some things are not worth the content. Barden Joe Shepard's reputation has been ruined. Please, it was ruined the moment we made him look like Mr. Potato Head took up a career as a circus clown. I'm pretty sure I picked up the OSD in Fist's office. We just forgot to turn it in. What do you mean, we? You said you'd do that. Well, I was thinking about doing this stuff off screen, but I think some of the folks wanted to see some of this stuff. Another quest with more fake news media. Hey, lay off Donald. Emily Wong reports on the real stuff. She does good work. Here, Commander, for your trouble. This bag feels a bit light, Wong. I had to kill Donald, chill out. They're worth more than your offering. I didn't tell you to kill Fist. We're two for two on assaulting the media. Where's Diana Allers so we can make it three? Here. You know, I forget all the time that there's another club on the Citadel. You pretty much don't need to come here until the very end of the game. But In Flux contains part of a trilogy long side mission that involves Conrad Werner. Is this the one where one of the sisters, I forget which one, saves Conrad from dying in three? You got it. And fun fact on this mission, it was originally going to be about Shepard reuniting two sisters who worked separately involving Rita and her sister, who was named Ari. The end goal would be either Rita is fired or Ari is rehired. Sounds like a downgrade from what we have now. Probably unlike the cut content on Theram, this is far less detailed. Not to interrupt this super fun bit of trivia, but why in the f*** does the music keep bouncing from right to left? Yeah, it's annoying me. The song isn't even good. 
Afterlife clears any club that's on the Citadel. Ah, uh, yes, Afterlife. The place where Batarians spike the drinks they serve to humans and where a serial killing Asari might assault you. Exactly. Sounds like my kind of place. Great. I need those supplies for my clinic. I can't. You can and you will. Or your story won't stay secret for long. Dr. Michelle just can't stay out of trouble. If we had a nickel every time we saw this woman getting blackmailed, we'd have two nickels, which I know isn't a lot, but it's weird it happened twice. I do love these kinds of side missions. They give us a citadel that feels more alive than either of the two versions we get in Mass Effect 2 and 3. Does helping Michelle do anything for us? Aside from doing things out of the goodness of our hearts, she'll give a discount on her products at the end of the mission. Isn't she an option to join the Normandy in three, or am I misremembering that? If you somehow fuck up bad enough that Dr. Chakwas dies on the suicide mission, you can recruit Michelle to replace her. You can still bring Michelle if Chakwas survives. You just have to turn the ladder down first. I want that free discount, so just point me towards them. Maybe I can get you out of this. Tell me what they want. I have to give some of my medical supplies to a merchant in the markets. They expect delivery today. Give me your contact's name. I'll deal with this guy, whoever he is. Deal with him? But won't they expose my past? The only thing they'll be exposing is their internal organs. They won't bother you again. I guarantee it. Hey there. Oh, you're not c are you? I took care of all the keepers, but we still have to settle this little dispute between Chorban and his partner, Jali. Sounds like a snooze mission to me. I don't even know who this Volus is. It's not a super important mission. I don't think it has any consequences that reach into Mass Effect 2 and 3 either. We've scanned all the keepers already, so it hardly matters. He's changed. Hi, I'll be with you in just a sec. I'll wait right We probably should have gone to see Jenna first and then talk to Jalid since Rita's mission also takes us there too. Jesus Christ, do you need to optimize literally everything about this run? I'm surprised you don't have a speedrun record of Mass Effect 1, Barry. Now, if you don't mind, This isn't the game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. You want to know what's more dangerous? Talking myself. about Jenna's undercover Why work and earshot of her targets? I can take care of myself. I need to go. I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and look pretty. Good girl. Detective Chuck, coming up. No offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? Who the hell do you think you're talking to? Chelik here handled the case of two Quarians that stowed on a Turian freighter, but he was kind enough to forego the charges. Why is this important? One of the Quarians was Tali Zora. And now you have my attention. Unfortunately, Chelik isn't all too fond of Quarians. He doesn't listen to Tali when she tries to present her evidence on Saren. Bro could have been the hero who helped us take down Saren, but he got in his own way. There's also a bit of inconsistency with Chelik. In Mass Effect 2, Emily Wong will report that Chellick succeeded Executor Palin as the head of CSEC. However, Palin is still in charge during the Mass Effect Retribution novel, which is after 2. It seems to be a leftover from cut content, wherein Palin would be killed by the Geth during the end of Mass Effect 1. Seems like Mass Effect 1 has a lot of cut content and storylines. I'll cut her loose, even get her out of Kor's den, no strings attached. But that still leaves my case unsolved still use your help. I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. Where can I find this, Jax? Have you checked Jax Summoner's down Rift? down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. Hey, there are rumors on Oh, the crap. That you've been made we should have gone to the markets through Cora's den. Incredible. Now we have to talk to Conrad. Come on, Donald. Conrad isn't that bad. Right. He may not be that Conrad. bad, but Conrad is a bit of a fool. If you don't be nice to him here, he'll run off to try to prove himself to Commander Shepard. Even while you're out there he attacks a group of Turians and is killed. That says a lot about you, Shepard. Hey, can I get your picture? Sure, no problem. Just hold up your gun. Perfect. Yikes, this is not a flattering angle for Shepard here. Weren't Garrus and Rex in the picture too? Thanks again, Commander. I'm gonna hang this in my living room. My wife will love it. Bro's showing off a picture of his crush to his wife. But you're gonna tell me everything. 
You boys can what go. you do here hardly matters. You can kill Chorbin if you want. The only thing we'll miss out on is the email where he changed. talks about his discoveries. Hey, I'll probably let him live. I want to keep myself fresh for the beginning of Pharaoh's. I'm not trying to kill him. Khalid's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. I should kill both of you idiots. I should kill them for this waste of time mission, but I'm feeling generous today. Uh, we have already scanned all the keepers. Shouldn't Chorba know that? He should, but it doesn't seem as though there's any dialogue for it. Even Bioware didn't think anyone would be down to run around looking for bugs to scan. Thank you. And happy scanning, Commander. Thankfully, both of our missions for Chellick and Dr. Michelle are right here in the same area. I'll start with the business for C-Sec. I'm down for killing a Krogan. I wouldn't, Donald. Hold it. You get better rewards for solving things peacefully. A mod upgrade, some credits, and experience points. Granted less experience than if you kill him. Classic renegade results in an overall loss for the player. God damn it, let the next Mass Effect have a more rewarding pure renegade experience. Here you go. Shut up, Morland. Last stop is to deal with the doctor's problems with the geeky Solarian. After this, we'll make a quick round on the Presidium, and then head off to Pharos. Leave the doctor alone. Or you'll have to deal with me. We can end this if you just bring me those supplies. Otherwise, I'll start telling people about the doctor's little secret. Her secret stays buried. Or I bury you. Shepard does not miss with the one-liners. Never seen a more bitch-made Krogan than this guy here. right here. This if this was Rex, hard. he'd relish the chance to fight us. Well, that had to be the easiest Krogan to beat ever. Thank you, human. It is good to see him humbled so. The thug said he worked for a man named Bane. Interestingly enough, this do-nothing side mission transition straight into one, you could argue, is fairly important. What do you mean, Barry? This leads us into UNC missing Marines and then UNC Cerberus. It's our first exposure into Cerberus, and we get to see just how bad the organization is. You say that like it matters. Despite everything we see in the missions, Shepard will be forced to work with Cerberus throughout Mass Effect 2. I, I, I know. I just think Is it's cool how this ties back to helping Dr. Michelle, which seems fairly unimportant at first glance. I heard what happened under the Artemis Tau Cluster. The Council wasn't too happy about the destruction of those Prothean ruins. This isn't a game, Ambassador. Wait, Shepard I didn't know Udina and Anderson comment on your previous gun. missions. I mean, I think I that's know, understandable. Just try to be Coming all the way back here after every single mission when you already have enough to do with the side missions seems tedious. Good thing Mass Effect 3 put the quantum entangler communication to use. You need to ask about Baines, Donald. Oh, sh Looks like I'm not the only one with a yes, failing memory. Fuck you, Joe. What do you know about Armiston Baines? We're going to need to go talk to Admiral Kohoku after, but we'll do it later. Baines is dead. Has been for quite some time. Time to catch up with Nasana. I don't have any eyebrows, Dantius. I don't care if they technically don't have eyebrows. Asari should just draw them on so they don't look like a blue Voldemort. It wouldn't even be that weird. They already wear eyeshadow, so makeup isn't a foreign concept. You know, as cool as it would be to explore the Mass Effect universe, it sure seems to be a lawless world. People are always getting ganked in space. Well, think about it. Space is a big, empty void. All you gotta do is commit your crime and leave immediately. Could be decades before someone finds you. Probably helps that the entire Terminus system is one giant f the rules portion of the Milky Way that the Council has no control over. We get the diplomat sister and we hold a ransom for one million credits. Do you want me to deliver the ransom? I've already transferred the funds to the account they specified. Only they never released her. They haven't contacted me since. I've made a terrible mistake, Shepard. I'm a diplomatic emissary. By law, I'm required to report any attempted extortion to CSEC immediately. But I was afraid for Dahlia, so I just paid the ransom. Now she's still missing. And if anyone finds out what I did, I could end up in jail. Then why in the hell did she to choose to meet up in a public lounge in the we embassies? Everyone can hear her admitting to wrongdoing. Nasana might as well have told us all this when she Eventually called us on the Normandy. A small mercenary band operating out of the Artemis Tau cluster. Now here's a topic you two should find interesting. I don't care what you The validity think, of proven medicine. What are you talking about, Barry? Just listen and you'll find out. Hold up, these two are named Petrovsky. Could they be related to the general by the same name from the Omega anything? DLC? That's a good call, Donald, but I'm sure it's just a coincidence. I'm not sure if too many people know this. 
But these two return in Mass Effect 2 and 3, still having arguments about the very baby they're referring to here. refused to let the baby undergo gene therapy in utero. Ooh, I know where this is going now. gene therapy was common. My husband Jacob died from a rare heart condition several months ago. There's a chance that the baby could develop the same heart condition, but routine gene therapy can eliminate it. A very small chance, Michael. And extranet reports say the therapy could harm the child. She's been browsing Spacebook a little too it's often. It's less dangerous than the genetic enhancements that every soldier in the Alliance receives. Yeah, uh, I don't think raising your voice is helping what here. What are the chances that your child will develop the heart condition? According to the doctors, there's a 1 in 50 chance. 1 in 50 is pretty f***ing high, I'm not going to lie. I'd rather avoid the disease altogether than have to go through treatment my entire life. The gene therapy. What are the chances that gene therapy could hurt the baby? One in three hundred at most. But extranet articles say there could well, it's just be basic math at this point. Gene therapy about. wins. Donald, are you being for real I right now? Understand. What? What's the problem? The if medicine is proven to be safer than the alternative, so she should get the gene therapy. I'm literally speechless hearing you say this right now. I really don't get why you're surprised by my thoughts. This is just what makes sense. Got a moment. Who the fuck is Helen Blake? I can't say I'm familiar with this NPC. She's just your friendly neighborhood grandma, except instead of giving out cookies and milk, she gives out guns and grenades. Now that's my kind of grandma. Fun fact, her voice actor Jane Singer also voices Shepard's mother, Hannah. So she's literally our mommy. Anyway, we will be completing her mission in the future, so we'll set the consequences of dealing with her on the back burner for now. We finally turned in the missions to Chelik and Jaleed. Now we can get on to the good stuff. Still one last thing, our little origin story mission. She's back there. Yes, sir. Behind those shipping containers. They've got a sniper position, but I don't think we'll need it. She's whoa, whoa, what the hell is the sniper for? Yeah, I don't think we need an extra set of eyes on the mentally unstable woman. Anything I should know about this Barack? I always pick Earthborn Shepherd. Donald, you're really going to need to at least try to be a decent human being here. Well, that won't be happening. Donald, you'll get less experience if you let the renegade outcome play out. Oh, for fuck's sake, why is renegade even a path in this game? Is it safe to assume that the renegade outcome is that sniper being put to use, Barry? You got it. My name is Shepard. Lieutenant Gerard sent me to talk to you. What's your name? Animals don't get names. Animals? The masters put their symbols on her. Hot metal all over her back. She screams when they do it. For the like, three people in the Mass Effect fan base who don't hate Batarians. You must have a name. I think this conversation will change your mind. Can you remember it? She remembers a lot of things. Halitha. They call her that. She... she doesn't remember the rest. What's this feeling? Leave I feel... do I feel bad for this girl? It's a Christmas miracle. A Donald's forward. cold and gray heart is finally okay. feeling sympathy for another person. No, she's no good! Don't want to be handled again! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my bad. Donald, what are you legitimately feeling sympathetic right now? No, I don't care! She sees them. They're yelling, run, hide. They hit the masters. But the masters, they have lights and hoses. Daddy's, he's melting. Holy shit, did they use flamethrowers on them? This is some Germany it. in World War no, One type. Look, look. Stupid, stupid. Talitha, you got this, pull it together. Actually trying to prop her up, that. Donald, you do you care. Shut the fuck up, Barack. I'm not doing this out of sympathy. I just can't stand to, to see someone so weak because of the Batarians. Those it's bastards stupid. don't deserve to live at all, much all less rent-free in someone's head. That's what the masters say. She sees them. Mommy and Daddy. Burning in white light, melting, going to pieces. They can't even say anything to her. Barry, I need you to let me play the Arrival DLC when we get to Mass Effect 2. Get in line, buddy. I'm the one pressing the big red button. Can she stop remembering now, please? I'm going to take a step towards you now. Okay? You're actually playing this perfectly, Donald. If you step forward too often, Talitha will unalive herself from the stress. So long as you keep talking to her, things will go well. If she dies, that means the Batarians win, and I can't have that. Donald cares. It's in his own little weird and twisted way, but he cares all the same. Why are you alive? Why are you? Why aren't you like her? Broken. Only fit to dig and carry. 
because I'm unbreakable like Captain America's shield. Uh, Donald, I'm pretty sure Cap's shield has been. Joe, I saw Endgame. Don't fuck up my analogy. I got buried under rubble. If they saw me, they left me for dead. Dead animals can't work. You lose your mommy and daddy, but you don't dig, you don't carry. You stand up. She wishes she could stand up. I'm going to take a step towards you now. Okay? Don't let the Batarians win, Talitha. Please don't touch her. She's dirty. You'll catch it. So interesting note on this. If you force Talitha to use the sedative, Talitha, it's something Shepard injects into her arm. Sleep. But if, if you give it to her, she takes it as if it's a pill. Damn, what the f***? She took that pill raw. No water, no bread, just down the hatch. This is powerful stuff. You won't dream at all. You about to get that good sleep. Like that. It hurts when she... When I remember... Me. She wants to... Damn, did we just let her fall onto the hard-ass metal floor? Well, if the meds didn't knock her out, the fall sure did. Donald, I'm proud of Is you. Is it over, Commander? You came down from the same place the at the start of the episode and assaulted Sex, Kalisa, Commander. but you Sex came back up and helped a girl it suffering from PTSD it's find just... peace. Hey, I don't get used to it. The only thing to do ball. now is to fuck up some Batarians in the name she of Mindwar. If Shepard is 28 or 29 at the start that? of the trilogy, and was 16 when the raid on Mindwar happened, this would make Talitha what? 18? Something like that, Batarian stole her entire childhood. It's the certainty. Message coming in. Oh God, what now? Time for you to reap what you sowed, Donald. Oh please, they're not gonna do anything to me. The brass isn't happy with the way you treated her. This comes straight from the Joint Military Command. Am I supposed to care? I would watch the attitude, Donald. That's Admiral Hackett you're speaking to. She wasn't gonna let the facts get in the way of the story she wanted to write. Commander, if she had done that at a bar, she'd go home in an ambulance. See, even Hackett knows what she deserves. can't mistreat the press. Just wanted to let you know what the response was back home. I won't keep you any longer. Fifth Fleet out. Now at long last, we're finally going to Pharos. Planet looks like sh** from all the way up here. The Council for Real gave us all the ugliest colony planets they could find. Eden Prime was the best we got, and that got blown up by a Reaper. Now we got some good planets like Beckenstein and Mass Effect 2. Ah, uh, look who it is, the legendary David Al Talakani. A shame we forgot to include him on the tier list. What makes this guy so great? How could you forget what David did for us, Joe? I'm drawing a blank. Help me out, Barry. Just watch and listen, Joe, and you'll witness the greatness of David Al Talakani. Please, up the stairs past the freighter. Oh, sh he saved us from that shot. Who knows what would have happened to Shepard if David hadn't been standing there? How dare they attack our good friend? The Geth will pay for this in blood. Don't get too reckless, Donald. We're not counting that glitch from Therum against Joe, so first to die is still up for grabs. Don't worry about me, Barack. This is light work. I might be worried if this was the tower defense run, but these geth are nothing. You might want to watch that sniper, Lil' Bro. Not even close, baby. Liara and Rex was a good combo, Donald. Lots of CC with biotics, adequate damage, and you handle tech. Well, I figured I better leave you with a decent team. You'll need it to prevent yourself from dying on this planet. Uh-huh. I'm pretty sure I'd have been fine no matter who you left me with. And you say I'm overconfident. Why is the Geth moving all sexy? Um, excuse me? What, we went over this during the smash and pass tier list, Barry. Joe, you dumbass, we did that with Bill, not Barack. Yeah, speaking of which, I changed the password to the account. I'm never letting either of you upload filth like that ever again. Don't be such a loser, Barry, the video did well. You three buffoons put the husk in smash, talked about using female Turian head fringes as handlebars, and the Citadel keepers have a dumpy. The fuck is wrong with you? Oh, Commander. I'm glad they finally sent somebody to help us. Fidan and Arcelia, two nobody NPCs. Arcelia. Sorry, Commander. Everyone's on edge. Watch out! 
All right, time for me to clear my final challenge for the day. Protect the heart of the colony, Donald. Hey, uh, Donald, you might want to play carefully here. This battle is actually kind of- Shut the fuck up, Barack. I'm tired of you backseating me. I can handle the combat. All right, fine. I'll keep my mouth shut. Don't say I didn't try to warn you. At least he's using his powers now. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Give me some more. Little too eager with that push, Donald. I'm about to push you. Why can't I back up? They placed a shield behind you. What the f kind of 1000 IQ play was that? Turns out the Geth aren't so dumb after all. Light work, no reaction. Who's ready for round three? Good movement, Donald. I like what I'm seeing. Told you I had this in the bag. Donald, there's a laser on you. Oh, fuck. Well, there goes Liara. Get ready to use Unity, Donald. I'll drop it if I see Rex start to go down. For now, the two of us have it. Donald, you might be throwing right now. You are the last person to be backseating me, Joe. That dash wasn't soon enough, but you're lucky you had Barrier up. Thankfully, my name isn't Jacob Taylor. Donald, turn around. Oh, shit. Heal Donald. Yo, let's no, fucking go. No, 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 God damn it! no, fuck you, fuck you. Well, I'll be marking this down as the first, nobody doubts it, death of the series. God fucking damn it, are you kidding me, stupid fucking sniper bitch? Hey, Donald, big fella, what happened? Wasn't I supposed to die first? Did you lose the plot or something? Joe, I will fucking headbutt you. That's a real pretty critical mission failure, Donald. Imagine losing to a single Geth sniper. Absolutely could never be me. Ha ha! Donald, do you want some help or not? I don't need any damn help. All I need is some peace and quiet so I can focus. Yeah, Barry, let the big man focus. He gets nervous when he has a crowd. I am gonna fucking eviscerate these damn bots and use their wires to decorate the White House when I win it back in 2024. All right, Donald, time for round two. Where in the fuck is that sniper at? Bro is real life mad right now. Get these goddamn shields the fuck out my face. Those shields are the only thing keeping you from getting eaten alive. There's the fucking sniper. You want to play rough? Okay, say hello to my little friend. Okay, well now you don't have to worry about dying a second time from the exact same enemy. Hey, uh, Donald, where is Rex? Wait, where the fuck is Rex? No, not again. Get the fuck off me. Ooh, you got lucky. Okay, I'm not even clowning you anymore. Where the hell is Rex? I think he might have gotten trapped on the other side of the door. You gotta be fucking kidding me. You're welcome to go check if you want. I don't think you can open the door, but it's worth looking. God damn you, Rex. Stop eating so much Varen and maybe you'll be able to keep up. Yep, looks like he's trapped on the other side of the door there. God damn it, fine. Liara and I will win this alone. Let's do this. Watch that destroyer, Donald. No more gun for you, bitch.
The red and blue duo got this. You're shooting a corpse, Donald. One geth left. Only one. It's Leroy Jenkins time. Liara, you stole the final shot. Well, I hope that made up for Joe getting bailed out by the buggy Krogan warlord last episode. I'm about to be sleeping soundly knowing I no longer have to worry about dying first. Mark my words, Joe. By the end of this, you will have the most deaths. Just wait for Grissom Academy. Bold of you to assume I'll even be playing the Academy. Rex, you big fat son of a bitch, where were you? Bro was sitting back laughing at you and Liara. Well, the tower's secure. Thanks to you, Commander. I just did what I had to. Well, well, I think that about side. does it for the boys and I today, and I gotta say, what an eventful day we've had. No matter what else happens in this series, I want you all to remember that it was Donald who died what first. Do they want? Yeah, well, we can't all get lucky and be saved by the NPC's AI taking a fat dump on itself. Sounds like copium in its rawest and purest form to me, buddy. Next time, I'll take over and conclude our mission on Pharos. We'll also be taking care of the few side tasks on the colony as well. It really is for the best that you're playing most of Pharaoh. Seeing Donald here, I'm pretty sure he'd get body. Fuck you, Brandon! Then maybe I can get this colony operational again. We'll get going then. Good luck, Commander. And we'll get going too. All right, y'all stay safe out there. Drink plenty of water, get some sleep. I hope y'all enjoyed your Christmas and New Year. And we'll catch you on the next one.